All right, we're back and playing Rogue Tower. We have an infinite amount of uh, gold, I mean experience. We have we have 1,800 experience with which to drop in. I'm a big fan of, uh, of permanent upgrades. We got new towers. Haunted House. This building consumes one mana a second to commune with spirits from adjacent graves and tax them. I love it. When placed next to an occult shrine, this building can be used to fund research into lost knowledge, giving global bonuses. I don't know what that means, but that's interesting. Um, let's let's get the towers. Lookout spots enemies and adds this tower. Spots enemies and adds this tower's stats to all damage the mark target takes. Very interesting. Okay, an encampment fortifies nearby path with landmines. Radar. So that's the the strafing airplanes. Obelisk. Uses mana to create a concentrated beam of, destru of destruction that destroys armor. Particle Cannon. Uses mana to obliterate single enemies at extreme ranges. Extremely powerful against shields. Okay. We got all towers. Now I'm, I choose to simply click randomly. I click randomly and randomly. And uh, we, we, we make sure we get some extra upgrades for the stuff that we just unlocked. That way, because we're getting like one card per round, we want to have as many options as possible. I can't afford it? I'm three short. Okay. I didn't even like look at what I was getting. I'll level with you. Play single tower. I'm ready. Now, I remember we, we, we set a new PB again last time. And one of the things we learned as we set this PB was that our good friend Malv made fun of us because we didn't surround all of our houses with ballistas immediately for maximal gold output. So I'm just going to start by doing this. Excuse me. Don't you dare. I think we pretty much got it. And now we've got an economy. And you know what? Excuse me. Give me banditry. I'm not even going to look at anything else. We need banditry because we have uh, so little money right now. <laughs> but as we kill more and more units, that'll change. Okay, beautiful. Um, let's go one more level on banditry. This seems like... Are you seeing this turn? Holy cow. That's insane. Our economy is incredible right out of the gates. You love to see it. Banditry. Um, for the time being, I'm just going to say, you know what? I feel like we can maybe go Frostbolt already. Uh, hold on. I forgot to run the casino as well. I forgot. To, I'm in disarray today. Will NL beat wave? Let's say bit wave 30 this time. Let's make it a little more difficult. Okay. Submission period of five minutes. Cause we got, it's a game that takes a while. I'm going to take a frost keep. Um, I'm just gonna place a frost keep like right here for now. Just oh, I can't afford it. <laughs> but I think it's good to have one. Right now, we don't need to worry. Like all of these units should die to ballista spam. I think the number one thing that would really help us out is actually if we got like ballista range. Okay, just don't like lose immediately. That would be very disappointing for me. They have a little speed boost. Interesting. So a particle cannon does it interests me. Don't get me wrong, it interests me. I think we got to start with maybe. Um, I don't really love any of these. This is a tough one. Particle cannon's pretty good. I guess we do need something that attacks units. So we'll do that. It costs a thousand. That's going to be tough. But we do have the ability to get a frost keep down. Let me just look at your range. Your range. I am going to place a frost keep regardless. I think that's acceptable. Expand me. All right. And then a particle cannon is long range. I wish I could see the stats like as I'm trying to put them down. Cannon does well against shields. Okay, that's that's good to know. So if anything, we would probably be looking for uh, something that does well against armor to be one of our next upgrades. Because we, we do have some armor driven units here, as you can see. No problem. <laughs> okay. 
Don't really need to upgrade uh, our, our particle cannon. Stop giving me towers, please. I don't need any towers right now. This is an issue. Obelisk is an armor destroyer. Encampments... Encampments armor destroyers are not armor destroyers. Obelisk is top tier. Anti-armor. Armor. Okay, I mean, okay, let's try. I'm assuming it's going to be expensive yet again. I'm hoping we don't have to put any more m towers down to stop these waves, but I also think that realistically we may have to. I might just throw down, like, a ballista... Honestly, just like, just thin them out before they get any further along. Let's put one more ballista. Okay, um, let's put one more ballista down. <laughs> Should be okay. And then, please, make my ballista stronger. Alright, I will, we'll take an obelisk upgrade i think we need to get some some passive upgrades this is incredible like map generation i love this we just need to get enough gold to actually be able to purchase one of the big towers we upgraded siphon you need mana i'm never gonna get the mana if i don't have the gold in the first place though like we're, we're one third of where we need to be in order to get the obelisk out here I've accepted, if we take a little damage, I don't care. If we take a lot of damage, I care. If we if we just take a little, I don't sweat it. Frost Tower, very helpful, thank you. This is, nothing gets past the front lines. This is where the ballistas are. Please give me, thank you, thank you. <laughs> um... I feel like range is going to help us out a great amount here. It's 535 gold. Another like ballista here or something could be necessary. Radar? We have a serious gold problem right now. The towers that we got are too expensive. Please just build some more ballistas. I don't want to build them until I know we're going to take damage. If we're, if we're not going to take damage, we don't need a ballista. We can save up our money, get our obelisk out there one turn earlier and go zzz, zzz, zzz. Just destroy them. You will die if there's four enemies. So that's pretty true. I feel like maybe I can... I'll, I'll meet you in the middle. I'll throw out one ballista, okay? But have some faith in these units that are closer to the base. Like, look at this. We got we got some strong boys over here. Nothing to worry about. It's a problem. Um, I hate this strat. I also hate this strat. I was hoping that maybe... Neither the particle cannon nor the obelisk would be a thousand gold. I thought maybe they started like 500. Look, let's make our... We know we're going to put an obelisk down first. First. I am... We, crit chance will be better for us later. I'm going to make our particle cannons better if they ever get to fire in the first place. We kill like... Oh my god, there's so many enemies though. I, I hate to slow us down, but I do think we need to put down, like, one... I'm gonna... Yeah, no, that's... I'm gonna leave you there. I think we gotta put down one ballista, and then get ready to throw down an obelisk. You're right, there is an empty house down here. I'm sticking to the plan for now, even though it was erroneous. Obelisk. Just a couple enemies down, we get some obelisks. I see that we got some armor issues obviously coming up here. They haven't even made it into the kill box yet, don't worry about it. Alright, this seems terrible. 
<laughs> it seems quite dangerous. Land some shots! Land them! Land them! You don't even have a shield. You don't even have a shield. At least kill the one at the back. Okay, we're alive. We're alive. That's all you could ask for. I think we need some saw blades. Those are at least going to be cheap enough for us to get a couple down. That had to happen. Are you a plus three? What's your range like? I honestly feel like that's kind of sick. Hit me again. Let's see how these shredders work, okay? And then your upgrades. I don't know if you target well on the armor, but we're going to try anyway. Let's see. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> now we're talking. That one was quite painful. You sh that, why would I? Uh, okay, that maybe we want to work on. The progress is furthest ahead. Why are you going backwards, man? Look who's shredding now. Live long enough to put down one obelisk. You can hit. You can hit. They crossed the line. Look at that. It should be progress first. That's a good point. Now that I think about it, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. That was actually like the clutchest tower we ever could have asked for. Look at this clutchness. Um, I'm going to make our ballistas... Honestly, I'm going to make them stronger against health for now. That one shredder seems to have done some great work. Let's see if we can get this bad boy looping back this way. He is clutch. Hey, here's a thought. If progress is your highest priority target, do you actually need to set your other two priorities? I can't right now conceive of a use case where something would not be able to target progress and then would instead m default to the second part of the switch statement. It doesn't make sense to me. How dare you? Progress would always be top? Okay. They influence the damage multiplier your tower levels? Ooh, what? I didn't know that. I had no idea. Yeah, shredders do more damage against armor. Also seems incredible. And then, now we can put down an obelisk. Now, it's going to use mana, so we might need a mana siphon next. Let's see how she goes here. And you know what? We could use some ballista spam. Let's keep this economy running. Just see how she goes, okay? Holy cow. Target most armor. I mean, I don't really care if we run out of mana, as long as it's not running out of mana in a way that makes... Like, it turns us into lethal situations. But yes, having a mana siphon seems pretty important. But, like, we, we've really moved our problem upstream here, and I think that's very good for us. Mana siphon. No mana siphon? That's fine. Um, let's get extra bleed going here. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna send you upwards. I'm gonna put down two more ballistas. This seems like a great time to invest in the economy. I still think just with our shredder, we can do some good stuff here. It's not like we can really do things with uh, about our mana right now, regardless. Aren't you about to lose? I don't think so. Like, I mean, they're going to make it past our obelisk because we have no mana for it. But, like, none of these towers ever even got a chance to fire last time. Frost Tower is just griefing you. It is always on, right? Like Ubisoft DRM. I feel like I could definitely throw down a second shredder here and feel pretty good about it. I Sell it. Place it here instead. Mm, place it 
here instead. Now we're talking. These guys are not going to kill me. This is your daily uh, reminder, by the way, that Monopoly Madness was made by a publicly traded corporation with like a $30 billion market cap. Probably more, maybe like a $50 billion market cap. Just throwing that out there. Mana Bank. Very important. Thank you. So, Mana Banks cost 500. Expand me. Ooh! I love doing mouth pog faced. Okay, build me a Mana Bank. Don't put it next to a siphon though. Um, wait for another Mana Bank. Shredders are doing great work. Would you consider speedrunning Ratatouille is shmovement based? Um, when Nintendo puts it out on the virtual console, I'm all in. If they ever put out the Pixar movie Ratatouille video game on the virtual console, sign me up. Mana. Mana? Mana? Give me some mana siphons. Although, hold on, now I gotta think, because... Don't... A bank does the same thing as four siphons for five times the cost, but you can place it anywhere. So siphons are like 25% cheaper, <clears throat> but you have to evaluate it versus the counterfactuals. And they add max mana, that's true. You have to consider the counterfactuals, which is that we could take a passive upgrade, like, um, well, I'll be honest, I don't think any of these passive upgrades are like that incredible. Frost does more damage to health. Ew. They also cost more in the long run. I honestly, I don't think we need a bank. I think we take a passive upgrade and we just make our, our frost tower a little better, even though I also think that's not like super valuable. You know what? That's a pretty good choke point spot. Don't put it there. Put it like, but the whole map is good choke point spots right now. <laughs> There's no place to put a mana bank because the the whole map is good. There you go. Put put one right there. Okay, I'm officially malding. You or me? I'm not malding. I just got a bit of a dry throat. Oogie is incoming. I kind of feel like Oogie is about to get absolutely melted by our obelisk if he's there at the obelisk without any fodder surrounding him. I'm going to place one more mana bank. I get, again, you shouldn't, in theory, place it next to a siphon, I suppose. Put it like there. Can you... Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, and you know what? There you go. Okay. Let's see. Let's see, Oogie. Let's see what it's all about. It's just you. Oh, we're getting so many treasure chests as well. Holy cow. Oh, this is why you build the mana banks. I think he's totally dead. Even though you're about to move out of my range, you're you're done. Okay. Oh, you, and you moved back into my range, you fool. Oh, this is so sad. He's going to die like... Just bleed out in a ditch like Escape from Tarkov. This is so sad. Alexa played Despacito. Oh, let the Ballista get the kill shot. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Um, okay. Honestly... Call me crazy. We're dead in two enemies anyway. Let's make it one, but raise our gold. We got a lot of expensive uh, towers. Frost keeps gaining one range. Incredible. Incredible. Expand me. This is a beautiful little choke point, man. Now we got shields to worry about. This might be a great time to build... 
Thank you for that information. Thank you. We might want to build uh, a particle cannon now, which does very well against shields. We can put it on a, any plus three that we can see. Its range is the whole map. Okay. And then just watch its mana. And then you should probably target most shield. Does it not use mana? People are like, nice position. What are you talking about? Look at it. Look at it. That's the look at the range. It sees it, it sees the whole map. Frost Tower is still kind of griefing. Big whoop. Check this out. What a shot. It only hits one unit, though. This is still going okay. We're, you know what we're doing, though? Like we, we used to be like so strong, we would just kill the enemies before they even got here. Now we gotta do some... You know, we're doing some triage. But I think it's because we had like bad target selection. Or not, not target selection, bad card selection. Like everything's fine. I do think we need a, a larger mana base. I'll put down another one. I don't care. What a shot. Passive upgrades, very big here. Um, I would never pay for Sorcery 1 right now. Literally, we could just spend 500 gold and get that instead. Why don't you go ahead and give me better shredders? This is... We, if you get range upgrades on obelisks... This thing, and, and we have enough mana to actually use it, this thing's gonna pop off, man. Okay, 31 mana per second. Please. Please tell me this is enough for the obelisk to fire. Look at particle cannon's damage. That's amazing, right? 55? Oh my god, it's insane. He has like five towers. You know the Death Star only had one tower, and that destroyed Alderaan. And Pluto's still a planet to me. I don't know if you guys have recently listened to the song Baby It's Cold Outside, but when you watch it in 2015, it hits a little bit monk ass. Sorry, I'm I'm leaning deep into the millennial humor. It was covered in towers? Yeah, but it only had one obelisk, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. No sweat, man. Didn't it have a million small towers? Oh, yeah, but they didn't do anything. I mean, they shot down, like... Porkins. Was that another one? Did, uh... Did George Lucas name Porkins? We've already talked about how he invented... Jizz music. Um... Darth Icky and Darth Insanius. He also took a look at a man that had a, a high BMI and said, that's my Porkins right there. Like, that's too much. I'm thinking, okay? When it, sometimes when I say I'm thinking, I'm actually just waiting for chat to tell me what to do. I think our mana is in a good spot. So I don't necessarily need to add, like, a Tesla coil. When I could just add, like, a second obelisk or a second particle cannon. Um, I think we need something that's better at dealing with hordes. So, a Tesla cannon is good at dealing with hordes because it's at, like, it's got that AoE status. So I do like that. A mortar could also get uh, AoE. And is a little bit cheaper and uses no mana. So I, I'm going to go Mortar for now. I feel like we can... We, we have a mana independent armor destroyer. That's pretty cheap. I respect this right now. And we need it to melt the hordes as soon as possible. So I'm sure we got plenty of plus threes we've never touched here. Can you see over here? You can. I consider that an acceptable position. I consider that an acceptable position. Man is doing fine. Honestly, I would look at this right now and I would say to myself, 
Perhaps I would even consider throwing out one more Shredder for the time being, because it's also pretty good at dealing with Hordes. So let's throw a Shredder down on this plus two, and then I will expand in this direction. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm feeling pretty good about where we stand here. Now, I gotta remember, you should target most armor, most health, slowest. You should target most armor, most health, and slowest. And then we should be looking at, at Shredder upgrades and from cards. Shredder upgrades and Mortar upgrades, especially AoE. This pathing is, it is nuts. It is kind of crazy. We got him nicely staggered. Thanks for Isaac today. Look, I, I, I take your thanks and I say thanks for the thanks. I do appreciate the kind words on Isaac. If, if there's an ulterior motive that's like, if enough people are positive about it, maybe it'll move up the priority queue. Look, I'm not going to say it's impossible, but it, it's... Uh, times are, are tight right now on the, on the temporal level. But uh, I'm, I'm making them when I get a chance. The baby is not in daycare today, so probably no Isaac tomorrow. But we'll, we'll see how we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna make our shredders better. We're doing. I, I think we're fine against single targets right now. Your shredder is pogged. I mean, look at this. It's it's absurd. It's insane. You know what we gotta do? We gotta we gotta actually take the haunted house the next time it shows up. Look at how many opportunities we have to tax the dead. What's the criteria for ending Isaac? Um so absolutely no thought right now goes into the YouTube channel. Look at this. Uses mana to communicate with the with and tax the dead. Okay, so it uses some mana. It's so bad. It's so insanely bad. It's terrible. All right, well, let's not do that. <laughs> let's make our ballistas. Well, I don't really want our ballistas to slow because we only have ballistas really at the end. I mean, I guess we could build some more. But I don't want to, because they're not that good. I think we'd rather just build a Frost Keep. It pays for itself in 20 turns. 20 turns? All the slander makes me want to see the Haunted House. It's not a slander if it's true, though. I'm just going to make my Obelisk better. That's easy enough. You know, even though it's not a shield targeter. At least it's passive. So I don't want to suggest that no work goes into the YouTube channel, because that's not true. But in terms of, like, when, whenever people ask questions that are like, what's your methodology for, like, you know, how often do Isaac episodes come out right now? And I'm like, they're made to order, brother. We don't have a bunch sitting under a heat lamp right now. It's like, literally, when I get, like, a 45-minute lung full of oxygen, I go, Tee! and I did like, hey, everybody, welcome back. And then I ran them, you know, Jacob and Esau, and I go, boo, boo, boo. But eventually, cold and flu system will, uh, season will be over. Copium. And then hopefully I'll have more opportunity to put a little bit more conscious thought into the YouTube channel instead of you know, just recording the same stuff, even though I, I mean, like, I love Super Auto Pets. People still like watching it. Isaac, we do it for the fans. You know, it's like when you go to see a Radiohead show and they play Creep. They're like, this isn't one of our most popular songs, but we know you probably want to hear it. So they hit you with the... Maybe you were here before. Couldn't look you in the eyes. We're pogging. We're not on zombie Oogie yet, so don't even sweat it. Nothing's even made it to our... Um, oh, uh, sure, let's make mortars better. Um, nothing's made it to our... Uh, 
to our ballistas in forever. Which is good, because if something comes to the ballistas, it's probably going to kill us, like... <laughs> we have nothing we can do to stop it. Let's put it that way. Let's spend some gold, okay? Um, I think... For the time being, let's throw down a second obelisk. Uh, and we got a nice little plus two here. This seems like a pretty good spot for me. And I feel like we should put down another particle cannon. Make sure we're still scaling our... Uh, our shield damage and our armor damage more than we think we might need them. That's pretty good. Okay, we still got 4,000 gold, huh? That's kind of insane. Uh... I, I, I'm going to spend some more mortars, I think. Target them? That's a good idea. That's a good idea. So you go, most armor. Why don't you just copy? Most armor, least shield. Because you do so little damage against shield. That's right. Then you do most shield, most shield. Okay. Let's get some more mortar spams out there. I don't know if you need the plus threes, but you're so cheap. Can you, can you work with the plus two? Let's look at the difference here. Plus three, plus two. I'm okay with the plus two, honestly, and save a plus three for maybe a particle cannon later, if I remember. Fat chance, but, you know, stranger things have happened. It's pretty solid. Um, it's another nice plus three there. I, mean, I don't know how big the map gets. That's, that's another problem for me. Little wasted on the range there. Let's let's demolish you and and put you. I kind of hate that. I'm gonna demolish you, and just place you over here. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, now. I think we could place a mana bank. Encampment like right there, and and see how the mood strikes us, and then just uh, expand me. I was hoping you would bend that way. Mana's doing fine with one obelisk. Two obelisks. It's probably going to be... It's going to run a small deficit. But that's alright. We got time to counter it. And mortar targeting. True, true. Most armor. I'm going to be lazy, actually. I'm just going to put them on most armor. As long as you're always... Whoops. As long as you're always looking at that, I'm okay. Hold on. It, it, things are getting a little spicier than usual here. You're dead. Okay. Are you gonna die? You don't explode into enemies when you die. That's the first threat we've had in a while. But our mana's doing great. That's great news. Shredders seem good for for low HP, high speed units. Forgot what I was doing. Most armor. There we go. Most armor. We probably missed one somewhere. That's okay. I will make mortars do more damage to armor. I really, I, I think we like our tower selection right now. We got like a solution for everything. Rip my channel points? What are you talking about? We're pogging. As we speak, we pog. Can I get a plus two, please? Can I get a little plus two? Everybody's got to come through this section. Does this target? No, it doesn't target far enough. Um, you know what? I'll put you on a plus one. Why not? And then expand me this way yet again. If it goes down far enough, some of these ballistas might actually get in on the action. You need upgrades soon. Okay. My thoughts on upgrades? Our shredders are like our most efficient units right now. I think. At least for dealing with hordes. I think two particle cannons, two obelisks is going to be pretty good at just dealing with whatever uh, large enemies could show up. Let's make sure our obelisks get a little extra love. Particle cannon is a little extra. Nobody's made it around the horn in a little bit. There we go. That feels better. <laughs> I 
don't rely on the ballistas as your as your final uh, line of defense. I'm playing like early 2000s Detroit Red Wings stats, okay? So like, yeah, we've got Chris Osgood in net or Manny Lagasse, but we also have, uh, you know, Nicholas Lidstrom, Chris Chelios. We, get, we got Brian Rafalski, one of the most underrated two-way defensemen of his generation. Like, as long as Osgood plays at like a replacement level goaltender, he shouldn't have to get that much work. So sure, yeah, they're going up against, you know, like prime uh, Marc-Andre Fleury on the other end, which, you know, we, we can talk about that later. Anyway, what was I talking about? Um, range. Health? Shields? I love where we're at here. Give me mortar range, please. We're not on Oogie yet. So close. Oh, let's go! You're making me sad about some of those guys? Hey, you know, I, look. Red Wings fans, you piss me off, not because you have a bad attitude, but just because you don't appreciate it, you know? You've won four Stanley Cups in my lifetime. You made the playoffs for 25 or 26 consecutive seasons. You were bad for like a couple years. Well, okay, probably like, you know, five or six years. Which is normal. And now you're getting like good again through the power of like strong scouting and drafting. Like you, you, you've been one of the luckiest NHL franchises over the course of, you know, from like the 1990s through to the, at least the mid 2010s. And there, you're already on your way back up. Like imagine what it's like to be a Buffalo Sabres fan, you know? You've been, in, much like the Canucks, you've been in the league for 50 years, no Stanley Cup, constantly winning draft lotteries and yet still in the basement after being part of like a 10-year rebuild. It's crazy. Not that the Canucks are doing much better. <laughs> oh, AOE, AOE, that's what we wanted. Beep, 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 beep. Level, round 23, okay. I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking. We got a lot of gold, mana's not a problem. We're gonna have a shield Oogie. Hordes have still been an issue. If hordes are still an issue, then I think we should put down like one shredder to help out with the hordes and then maybe get ready to invest in... Are you going to hit? No! Get ready to invest in one more particle cannon. Our baseball and football team suck. Let us be toxic about hockey. I guess that's true. I mean, I... The Canucks are like a semi-cursed franchise. They've been around for 50 years. They've never won the cup. Um, you know, there's some there's some curses in the lore. But I read a stat before the start of the NFL playoffs that was like the last... The, the Detroit Lions have won one playoff game since 1957 or something like that. Just actually the the Dwight Eisenhower administration. Like that's insanity. I don't even I mean I guess at some point you just get used to it, but that's a long time. I'm saving for now. I'm not sweating it at all. Mortars burn. Particle cannons deal more damage to shields seems exactly what I'm looking for. Round 25 is about to start. 4,000 gold. I would definitely say throw me a particle cannon. Great range on that. Make sure you're targeting most shields. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? Upgrade's kind of cheap. I would also say a frost keep. I want it to be like here, 
You get targeted by saws. You get targeted by two obelisks, potentially. Our mana seems fine. I think this will serve us well. And then upgrade it a little bit. It'll slow faster. Copium. I mean, I don't know. There's got to be like some... We want Ugi to spawn over here, so let's expand this path. Yeah, he's a genius! Look at my particle cannons. Look at them. Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. There's got to be like more um, cursed franchises in sports history though, right? Like... Like, is there is there like a British... An English Premier League team that like started in the in the Premier League but is now in like Division 4 or something like that. I feel like relegation opens up like a whole new possibility of mediocrity. Sunder How far down did Sunderland go? They were in the Premier League like five or six years ago, weren't they? They're League One. That, isn't that that's one down, right? I guess, you know, for a, a very major team. They're three leagues down? What the hell? That's insanity. Two down. Nottingham Forest. Is there any Premier League team that's never been relegated? Manchester United. Chelsea, Liverpool, Everton. Everton's never been relegated. There's like eight. Only Everton. Wow, I didn't know. I, I guess Man U has just been good as long as I've been alive. So, Or at least good enough. I'm super happy where we stand, but I think it might be time to get another tower just so we avoid diminishing returns. Radar. Call in airstrikes from Affer. <laughs> and a chest. And two chests. Let's make mortars better. Let's... At this point, you know, round 25. Let's get extra crit chance. On our, uh, on our higher level units. And then, radar costs a thousand. Let's just take a look at your... Your range is insane. You do more damage against you, you do more damage to health than anything else. So let's go with health. Wow, that range is actually crazy. And you don't cost mana, right? Right? Expand me. Ooh, no mana cost. Look at this. The only, and I'm realizing, like, I'm not a tower defense expert. The only thing I don't like about tower defense is that there's, like, so much buildup, and then when you lose, it's just because, like, three enemies made it past. Like, there's no pageantry to a loss. They should make it so after they, at, when, when a lethal enemy makes it to your tower, it should actually do like a slot machine. You know like when you lose a, at pinball and then all the reels start spinning around to see if you're gonna win a free game? They should do like a dopamine infused slot machine at the end that is like, are you actually gonna lose? And if you don't lose, you get like enough HP to be more than one hit away from lethal next time. It would, that would pog people up. People would lose their minds. Actual million dollar idea. <sighs> well, a million dollars isn't cool. You know what's cool? Losing 280 billion dollars in market cap in a single day. Hi oh. We don't really need 15 range now. I'll look for it in the future. Instead, I'll just make our biplanes better. Ooh, turn me, turn me this way. Turn me to the right. I had to do some brain age. Wow, it's a plus six range right there too. So meta. I refuse to call it meta for now. You don't get to go into the witness protection program after trying to destroy Western democracy.
Where's our obelisk? Okay. Based, based, based. I don't think we build on the plus six yet. If we expand more over here... Oh, imagine if it goes... Yup, 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 yup. I mean, we could put a particle accelerator there, but it it can hit from anywhere too. The obelisk guy. I mean, I guess it would hit for a while. It gets a nice little damage bonus too. That's true. That's true. Okay, let's let's take this time to diagnose how we're feeling right now. It's round twenty-seven. We got eight thousand gold, so no urgent problems. Man is doing great, which means we can scale in any direction we choose. No places to put ballistas. I mean, we're not we're not stressing out about anything right now, to be quite honest with you. Um, sure, let's have obelisks deal more damage to armor. That's kind of what they're targeted for to begin with. Let's try something, okay? As as requested, let's try something. But I I feel like an ob well, what's the obelisks like base damage? I know this is a higher level one. Base damage eighteen. It only targets one unit at a time, but it ticks, like, pretty quick. Particle Accelerator is obviously, like, insane. Um, there is a part of me that's, like, one Shredder, though, with a couple of Frost Cannons. Maybe could melt units before it, like, they even get there. But, you know what? People say Obelisk. Let's try an Obelisk. Let's give it a try. And then let's put a little, a little Frost. Maybe we could even do, like, a Frost and a Frost. Just in case the stragglers get by. And let's see how our mana shakes out here. You need to be upgraded, like, severely. And you need to target most armor and lowest shields. That's right. Okay, now we should see some melting. My mana, my mana. You know what? I'm going to say let's dump this frost cannon. <laughs> or this frost tower. <laughs> Who? I'm going to say let's dump this obelisk and dump this. I never should have listened to you. Doubters. Okay. <laughs> we make it through this round. Rebuild the obelisk. Forget about the frost tower. Thank, thank God we made it through that. We diagnosed it fast enough. That could have been... Well, it could have been worse. We need a lot of mana banks to make this strat work. You know what? Obelisk's burn seems fantastic. Throw down one obelisk and let's just see how our mana looks now, okay? Let's just try it. End priority, that's right. Most armor, lowest shields. Man is doing better. We're not really trying to kill things here, we're just trying to melt them. Then the shredders later are gonna do all the damage we need them to do. Mana's looking better. Yeah, mana's looking fine. And then we don't need shredders there because we got shredders here that are gonna they're gonna wipe them. I'm not sweating it at all. Oh yeah, it hasn't been upgraded either. <laughs> Get upgraded, you piece. He spent 5k on upgrades and then sold it. I mean, obviously, like, I mean, it's the same as Super Auto Pets. Like when you lose on win 10, people are like, "Well, you shouldn't have done that." Yeah, no kidding. If we hadn't have sold the tower. We definitely would have lost on the last round. So the, our two options were uh, lose, but be like, at least we were fiscally responsible. Or, uh, you know, survive, but just eat a $5,000 cost in game. That's fine with me. Just don't make the wrong decision. Just never make mistakes, forehead. Particle cannons deal more damage to shields. We respect it. We love it. Our mana's in a good spot. Our towers are all messed up, though. 
Not our towers, sorry, our path lengths. I think we need to expand this path out a little. But we got one heck of a, a wave coming through here. Oh, the Believer Threshold's coming up too. Anyway, that's okay. I like a little backseating. SAP is not backseating, it's just banter. Because I'm like, honestly, I'm already in the Hall of Fame. It's like you're trying to tell Brett Favre how to throw like a perfect spiral. I'm like, the only reason Brett Favre would throw an imperfect pass is because he's so sick of throwing perfect passes. I'm watching it, I'm watching it. Little mana, it goes a long way. There we go. Now, Brett Favre might need some lessons on how to use his cell phone, but that's a different story. Brett Favre's not the best comparison. He was, like, the best quarterback in the NFL between uh, Donovan McNabb and John Elway. I was always an Elway stand myself, at least, uh, you know, for his football gameplay. Because I always thought like orange is a cooler color than green and yellow, so I was a big I was a big uh, Broncos fan as a kid. Also, I read a book, like a young adult novel, where um, a kid fell asleep in a John Elway jersey, and then he became John Elway, and he was playing in the Super Bowl. And I always thought like it's such a funny book because like it's a great story for that kid. But imagine what a nightmare that is for John Elway, that he woke up in, like, a 10-year-old uh, a kid's body and had to watch his real body play the Super Bowl. That was probably the worst day of his life. Plus three damage to shields, for sure. Expand me ever so slightly. Look at these plus sixes, man. Just watching the mana first. Make sure the mana's okay. And if it's not okay, we build for that. Right now it seems okay. The real question is what are we gonna build on top of those plus sixes? What do we need right now? I don't think we really need shield damage. Maybe we still do need shield there. Here's what I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna build one particle cannon. I wish it had better range, but the, we, we mostly bought it for damage. And I'm gonna build one radar. And then I'm gonna have our particle cannon always shoot at most shield. And go deep on that. And then I should have upgraded you, but you're gonna go most health. Should have saved a little for you, but I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of what we got going on here. Base damage 75, holy cow. Particle cannons get extra 10% crit chance, absolutely. Believers, believers won, you're absolutely right. For some reason, I thought I set it at 33. Clearly not the case. Another plus six. Oh, baby. Open the tables up again? Suppose I could. I'm just trying to avoid the comedic timing of uh, opening the tables back up and then immediately losing. And I'm watching these units with like a high armor make it through here. And I'm a little scared. Resume me. I know you're not upgraded, and I know you're going to affect my mana cost, okay? But you're like the last line of defense right now. How can we be using more than 87 mana a second? It doesn't make sense. Please, air the airplanes are crushing it though. Oh, it turns out we're actually doing fine. In that case, I haven't upgraded you yet. We don't need you. 
I that was just a just in case me. I think armor has been an issue, which means I was just about to suggest we might have some mortars with some very easy and cheap uh, armor levels. At least help us against the hordes. Maybe same thing with the shredders. Oh, those are pretty upgraded. All right, so far so good. Sure, particle cannons deal poison damage. That sounds, it sounds nice. I really wish you would stop branching, but that's fine. Just, just so we don't run into too many problems. Let's spend a, a thousand gold is but a pittance for us right now. Let's spend that on some mana banks. And this is like the only thing we need to watch. If nothing makes it past here, we're loving life. I do feel like the... I, you always got to think about what you're trying to accomplish, right? You got to figure out what your goal is before you figure out the way that you get there. So I'm looking at my towers being like, which tower is most cost efficient right now? Well, I guess it depends for me. Is my goal to have the most cost efficient tower or is my goal to win? I feel like if my goal is to win, I need more shredders right now. Those seem like our uh, hordes seem like our biggest weakness. Most cost effective is probably mortar. But I don't know if we need that many mortars. I feel like a shredder could help us out a lot. They do cost a thousand each. Well, you know, to start with, but. And where is it? We have one frost tower here. One frost tower here. We could... I was going to say demolish you, but you know what? I don't think that's the play. I don't think that's the play. Let's have biplanes deal bleed damage. We're not on Robo Oogie yet. <laughs> and then look at some shredders, okay? Plus three. Great place to land. Hit you with one of those. Now, what do we have you targeting? Just progress, right? Yeah, progress is the most important. Okay. Let's do one more. Let's do it here. I don't like that. Let's do it here. I don't like that. Let's demolish it. I don't like that. I'm going to demolish it. <laughs> I'm going to put you right here. That, I, I respect that. And still progress. Okay. Don't branch, you piece of crap, man. It never ends. I guess that's true. If you put Shredder on them... Early, they'll bleed longer. That's a good point. I never, I didn't think about the the ramifications of of the DOT. So you know what? I think you've convinced me to guarantee one shredder here on this plus three, so we can at least get them bleeding a little early. That seems like a great idea. Thank you for the first grade instructions. That's the whole point of the shredder. For me, the whole point of it is zooming in as the saw comes down and watching it go... But maybe that's just me. It's not a zoom. It's a... It's a... I mean, we're, we're not even scared here. Like in that one James Bond movie. I don't know why when you said James Bond, my I read it in my head like five times as LeBron James. The name's James LeBron. The name's LeBron. James LeBron. Dunk, dunk, dunk. It's him dribbling the basketball. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Squeak, 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 squeak. Oh, man, that could work. James, James Bond basketball? That could work. 
That could work. I think Frost range is, is going to be underrated for us. Source dude, just trust me. These ballistas are about to get involved, man. And instead of Watson, it's a it's a Wilson basketball. I gotta tell you something. I appreciate the joke, but I do feel the need to let you know that um, Watson is from, from Sherlock Holmes. Not James Bond. Which is fine. They're kind of similar. Like, Sherlock Holmes is kind of like the James Bond of the late 1800s, but... It's Robo Oogie. It is Robo Oogie. Sorry, Particle Cannon's gonna get there eventually. Can you please target Robo Oogie? He has the most armor. It's alright, Particle Cannon's doing their business. Tower's doing fine. Yeah, he's he's gonna melt. He's gonna melt. Don't even cry. 8,000 gold. Plenty of time to, to think about what we've done. Think about our actions in the future here. This horde doesn't scare me in the slightest. Here come the shredders. SAP is laggy today. Do Isaac. This is what's known in the... I, I'm, I'm a debate lord. I love to debate. I was in debate club in high school. Um... This is what's called a false dilemma. Just because SAP might be a little bit slow today doesn't mean the only other option is Isaac. I was not actually in debate club. <laughs> I've told the story many, many times, but we did a debate module in ninth grade English, and uh, I think, you know, you don't, you don't get assigned the position based on your own personal beliefs. So don't be mad at me, okay? But I remember uh, we, we did a debate, the, the debate that I was in. I don't know if you were in my class for this, Mouth. May, maybe, maybe not. But I was, you know who I was debating against. It was a, a boy who was from Canada but had an English accent for some reason. And it had had it his whole life. And his, his parents were not from England. We were like actually close friends. I'm just saying this to identify to Mouth who it is. Um, so we were, we had a, a debate about whether or not pornography should be illegal. And somehow I ended up on the, it should be illegal. And he ended up on the, it should not be illegal side. And I can't remember what he said, but he was like, in some ways it could be like educate, edu educational. And then I just remember that I said, do you know that from personal experience? And the whole class went like, Oh, and I thought I crushed him. Like, I thought I, I, that meant that I won the debate. And then when I got my grade back, the teacher gave me a 55 out of 100 and said, you can't resort to personal attacks in a debate. And I was like almost in tears. It was like the lowest grade I'd ever received on anything. And I, I was like, I, I won the debate. I made, I made everybody go, what? Anyway, deserved? I don't know. I mean, I was in ninth grade. It's pretty young. You're 55? I mean, I'm pretty erudite. I choose my words with precision. Momentary lapse of impulse cost me... Four. I mean, I guess she's trying to not, like... Uh, you know, my English teacher was trying to not lead to a situation where uh, people are just incentivized to hurl personal insults at one another during a debate. I don't want any of this. Do we have poison on anything? We don't, right? I mean, I guess we take a uh, Tesla coil. You do on the particle cannon? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. It's not cool anyway. This one goes out to the person in chat that spammed a thousand times. Tesla coil makes the game trivial, by the way. Let's, let's put that theory to the test. Don't really love that. Um, I think I like this. And Tesla Coil is good against shields. Okay. Should always target, let's just say, most shields. Tesla Coil. Good against shields. 
It was recently patched. It's not that good anymore. Uh, old information Andy in the chat. Old information Andy. What the heck is this? This is incredible. Even though our ballistas are going to be, like, garbage. Oh, you know what? We, we probably get more mana banks down when those Tesla coils start firing. How do you feel about more Mario Kart courses? It's so funny. I had to, like, actually check myself a little bit. I was disappointed that Mario Kart 9 didn't get announced. But they were like, there's 50 new maps you've never played for Mario Kart 8. And I was like, that's stupid. I want Mario Kart 9 instead. But what do I want out of Mario Kart 9? I don't know. I guess like 50 new maps I've never experienced before. So it's ba it basically is Mario Kart 9 for me. It's just because it was marketed as an expansion instead of as like a new game. I was actually very pleased with what I saw from the Nintendo Direct. New Mario uh, Strikers. I love all the Mario sports games. I just hope they... I mean, they kind of fucked up Mario Golf a little bit. It was still kind of fun, but I, it's not what I wanted out of a Mario Golf game. Um, new Wii Sports for Switch, I'm very excited about. But I will say, my, my own take on the Directs, I'm not like a Nintendo psycho or whatever, but I feel like they do a good job of making it like event content, but they got to stop hyping up 6 out of 10 games from like the 1990s coming out on virtual console as if like it's a major thing that everyone should pay attention to. Nobody knows what Live Alive is. No, like 1% of the people watching the Direct are like, oh, Pog, Klonoa, right? Like you, you could cut those Directs by like 80% of their runtime. Just focus on the premier stuff and minus two. Live Alive looks pretty pog. You're not going to play that. You might buy it. You're not going to finish it. Be honest with me. Be honest with yourself. Mortars burn. No, mortars do more damage to armor. This is beautiful. Oh, pog, Klonoa. <laughs> minus two, you fell off. Come on. Don't Just don't... You wouldn't have to be mad if I wasn't right. Let's just put it that way. Like, also, when they were... <laughs> I was laughing when I was watching Chimp watch the... Uh, the Direct. And they showed MLB The Show 22 on, on the Switch hardware, and it legit looks like a PlayStation 2 game. I was like, this... Don't show that, just... You gotta know what your hardware does, okay? It does not look good. So just announce that the game is coming, but don't show any gameplay. Are you insane? People are going to look at that and be like, that looks like garbage. Fifty-five percent don't resort to personal attacks. Okay, true, true. I guess I didn't learn my lesson. I have 12,000 gold. I feel like we should buy something. I don't love that. I don't love that. I guess, you know, having something else to break shields is kind of okay. I don't know. Sell me. I gotta think about it. Maybe, maybe two shredders for, like, increased bleed damage through this, like, corridor here. That makes sense. When in doubt, mortar out. I'm I use the mortar as a compliment. It's not like the main component of my dish, but I, I do respect it right now. I do respect it. I kinda hate all this, but let's make our radar a little better. Like radar, 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 radar. You're not radar. Are you radar? You're radar. What's your range? Insane? Okay, that actually is pretty good. But give me a shredder. Give me a shredder. You're always going to target progress. Let's just like... We might as well wide scale you. Holy cow. I guess we should keep a little gold just in case we get mana short. And then look at this! This obelisk is, is pogging out.
What's my PB? I think my PB was 33. One for every year I've, I've circled the sun. Allegedly. Now, we're already on 38. No, you got to 39 or 40 once? Oh, okay. My bad. My mistake. I don't know anything <laughs> about anything. Loving these saws, loving the DOT, loving the airplanes. 40 is a massive difficulty spike. Okay. Okay, good to know. Good to know. This wave seems like it's going to be totally fine, but they did make it a little bit past... Uh, like, if they make it past this bend, that's where I start to get scared. That's why I'm happy to have, like, some earlier bleed on some of these units. Mana's doing great. Still completely empty top corner. Well, like, my philosophy right now is, like, the priority for most placements should be on a path that every unit has to walk down. So because not every unit has to walk over here, I look at this and I say this is a low priority for upgrade. Plus, you know, we already get coverage via the radar and the particle cannons and stuff. So I feel like this still needs more reinforcement than anything. I mean, we're, we're not sweating it at all right here. I think we got to set up an, a shredder kill box right here. Hold on. Okay, uh, thank God you're weak. I feel like our Tesla cannon needs some upgrades as well. So I think the game ends at 45. I don't know if we're going to get there, though. How about biplanes deal some bleed damage? And, and let's extend that DOT even more. Um, don't expand me yet. I still think we need, like, more shredder action right here. Because we're still suffering against hordes. So just give me a shredder, like, right there. And then give me a shredder, like, right here. And then there's a part of me that says, you know what? It wouldn't be the worst thing if there was a frost keep here. But I do want to make sure our mana's doing well. I do think there should be a fast-forward button as well. It would be very nice. Our man is doing okay right now. It's a lot of units. <laughs> Certainly a lot of units around. I, I actually think we're doing a little bit better than last time. That's all right. That's what the ballistas are for. I mean, this is what the radar is for. That's all right. You got DOT. Get zapped. Mana's okay. Come on, ballistas. This is what you're here for. I don't fear. Spend like 10,000 gold on this real quick. <laughs> Please, planes, planes. Get him! Yo, thank God for the biplanes, man. Okay, so that's scary. Ballistas near the tower could use upgrades. Yeah, but I think, like, if they ever have to shoot, I'm dead. I think that's the issue. If the ballistas ever have to shoot, I might as well just roll over and die. Have fun with the difficulty spike next wave. Excuse me, I'm going to have so much money. I'm going to have like 6,000 gold to deal with it. This is where I then realize 6,000 gold is like, you know, one shitty tower. But that's okay. Look at, we, we made it through. We didn't even take a single hit. I 
I don't even know what our real problem was there. Let, let's have Shredders hurt health more. I feel like health might have been our problem. Um, we have 4,000 gold. It's uh, a very tough question. More radars? I was thinking it. I could build like one good radar or two bad ones. Range is quite nice, honestly. I spent way too much money. I'm going all in on you. Health damage, okay. I've got you on most health, right? Yes, okay. Look, don't be confused. People are saying bottom left needs help. Just because you don't see that many towers here. That tower hits it. That tower hits it. These towers both hit it. This tower... Like, all, all these towers have such exceptional range. You should not be that concerned, in my opinion, yet. Now, early wave, bit of a problem. Expand this so we stagger the early wave slightly. You're dead. Care to put some channel points on it? Yes? Alright, just make a mental... I'm not gonna run the casino yet, but make a mental note of your bet, and then we'll use the honor system when it's over. So if we win and you mentally bet on loss, I hope that you would honor that and actually donate the points in the bed after we finished, okay? My mana? My frames? My mana? <laughs> All right. Imagine it works. My particle cannons! Airplanes? There they come! There's the... It's just like Dunkirk, man. It's not just like Dunkirk. We're dead. We're not dead. Planes! Game over. We died. Okay. Defended 39 levels. Made it to level 40. Alright, we were like... We were super, super dead. Okay, we're gonna pay out the doubters on that one. Fair enough. Give, give me my honor points. Give me my honor points. I, we That 10,000 misspent gold at the end was not our problem. Like, we... Or, I mean, it was our problem, but it was not the, the thing that made us lose. Pay out believers? No, I mean, pay out the doubters on the mental bed. Obviously, we're going to pay out the believers on the real bed. Okay, start with an extra 100 gold. Start with an extra 100 gold. All enemies drop more gold. Begin the game with an extra 100 gold. Begin the game with an extra 100 gold. That's easy. Return to main menu. Slash marker. Rogue tower.